Hey Cashers, Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today we're gonna to be doing another gadget cache build, but this one is gonna go inside an ammo can. Let's get started. So once again on Facebook, I saw a really cool looking gadget and it was made by Romba Cats out in California. And I thought to myself, you know, that's really cool. I wonder if I can make something like that that could fit inside of an ammo can so it would protect it out there. Now what it is, it's a box and it has some dowels on the top of it and you have to put discs on top of it and it spells out a word once you get it lined in to open up the lock. So I need to get some measurements on the ammo can and then we're gonna start cutting the wood and start getting everything ready for this project. All right, so I've gotten my measurements, and once again, I'm gonna be using some repurposed wood. We had a double oven put into our house, and what was used to be here was a 24 inch oven. You can't use a 24 inch double oven. And this was on the side of the oven, so it, when it framed in the old oven. But when they took it off, I was like, man, you know what? That is great wood to be able to use to put inside of an ammo can. And as you can see, I won't have to separate it at all on the sides. It'll just, I'll just be able to cut it up and for it to go right in. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this to go inside this ammo can. Okay, so I have the four walls now all cut out and these are seven inches long by four and a quarter wide. That's what the wood that I had was. So now what I'm gonna do is put these together and I'm gonna be using um, Gorilla Glue and uh, finishing nails to get these secured into place as the walls because it's gonna make it a lot cleaner because it's gonna be going inside the ammo can. Let's get those done. Okay, so now I have the box is glued and I have it clamped. I'm just gonna let this dry. But while this is drying, we're gonna be working on the disc that's gonna be going on the top to be able to start ciphering those out. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So now I have the pieces cut out to, that's gonna be made part of the disc. Now the template that I'm using is a base that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was the perfect size. Instead of me having to cut out one already, I found one that was already pre-made. It's gonna work great on this. So I'm gonna tape it with double side stick tape right onto the top of it. And then I'm gonna take my table router and I'm gonna come through and route each one of these discs to the correct size. Okay, so now I've got the, all the pieces cut out and I've used the double stick tape to hold them together so when I'm doing these holes, it'll stay right where I want it to stay. So I found the center point because the first pole that's gonna go through all of them is gonna go right through the middle. Now, I have six here, but I think when I actually did some other measurements into the box, it's only gonna be five, but that'll give me something to come into just in case there's an issue. So let's get this drilled in. I'm gonna be using my drill press I know you, a lot of you don't have drill presses, but this will make this a lot easier and nice and clean. So let's get this drilled. So we are on the home stretch. I got the top on, mounted to it, it's got the holes in it. Now I need to make sure that the dowel rod 
goes in so we can get that glued and each one of those is going to be to the different height. So I've already got the dowel rod kind of placed through the middle here and I'm just going to line it up with the bottom hole, put it there, and I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to cut it and then we're going to do that to the next two as well. Got it all together, got the dowels up the top, got the hinges, got the lock on already. Now, how do you solve it? Well, you go through each one of these and you'll slip those on in a specific order. And you're asking, what is that order? Well, you know what? That will be determined by you if you build this because you will be able to get it in here and you put your code or what you want to do up here on the outside. And you'd have to line that up to get your code that you want to, so they can solve it. And then you enter in the combination you need, and voila, you're in to the log book. There you go, a simple ammo can gadget field puzzle. A lot of fun, fits right out there. So I've been wanting to do something other than a birdhouse because sometimes you just can't put a birdhouse anywhere and I can put this gadget out in the woods. I hope you've enjoyed today as we've built this gadget cache. Hey, leave me a comment. What kind of puzzle would you put on those blocks that's so they could decipher to get into that block? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Check out one of these other videos just right over here and check out the story behind the cache.